Hey everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Let's Play Dark Souls 2. In the last episode, we fought three bosses, but we're only able to beat the Pursuer and the old Dragon Slayer, I believe it was, who was essentially uh, Ornstein from Dark Souls 1. Well, I mean, he was wearing the same armor and he had the same ring, but I think that's about where the similarities stop. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to go back and try to defeat that boss, because I'm pretty sure that's what we have to do right now. Uh, so I decided, uh, I don't know exactly what I did off camera. I don't think I really did anything, to be honest. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, I did. I got, so I got a couple secret things. I was just kind of exploring around, and I apologize for not recording. But I found this fire longsword. So in the uh, giant, the forest of giants, where that thing was spitting out fire, it could actually uh, hit you from where it was. Uh, or could, you know, when it was spitting fire down that tube, and there was an item there that was just a soul item, but... If you go a little bit further, there was a door, so you get this cool fire long sword. But I'm gonna just keep using the hide sword since it's already plus five. I've already put so much time and effort into it. I also found the binoculars and I found a morning star. It was kind of off the cliff over here. Uh, essentially, there is a way you can fall down and get to stuff over there to the left of the flame. Uh, it's not that difficult. Uh, I would show it, but I honestly don't remember how I did it right now. Uh, but it's pretty simple. Like, just, I found some of the stuff that you just kind of get from exploring. Uh, and today, I'm going to go ahead, I think I'm going to use some of my soul items. Uh, some of my boss soul items. People were, probably, some people might get annoyed at me for doing that. Uh, but I was talking to, again, as I usually do, I was talking to Crazy Mike about the game, because him and I chat a lot about uh, Dark Souls, and we were talking a lot about Demon Souls while I was playing through that, so he's been very helpful for me. And also, your guys' comments uh, have been super helpful for me. I've been trying to avoid a lot of comments, obviously, because I don't want anything spoiled, but everyone's been really cool about not spoiling things and just kind of answering questions that I ask and nothing else. And uh, I don't remember who it was, but somebody pointed out how stupid I am. I mean, they didn't say it that negatively. But uh, the way the weapon wear works is every time you rest at a bonfire, your weapon wear uh, res uh, resets. So there's like a little meter below everything. And I never knew that. And I'm actually really happy they did that because I didn't really like how it worked in Dark Souls where your item just kind of broke. But I'm glad I know that now, uh, which kind of sucks that I bought that... Uh, repair powder but i guess it's good to have in case you make it all the way to a boss and there's not a uh a bonfire nearby but that's really cool that's a really cool feature that they added to the game and i think it's really smart that they did that so i'm gonna use these soul items and then i kind of want to use one of these but i don't know which one to use i know that with the pursuer you get his sword and i'm not going to use a sword that large because i usually don't use large weapons so i'm going to go ahead and use that and uh oh wow that gives you a lot of souls and I don't know, I may end up using one of those, so I'm not sure yet. And then the Flexile Sentry Soul, I'll use, I'll keep two. But you know what, I, nah, you know what, I feel like I should keep that. I don't want to use them, because I'm sure that they'll be useful for more things than just weapons. I know that usually just goes with weapons, but I'd like to try and save those as much as I can. Unless I get to a point where I just need to level up. Uh, so I'll go ahead and level up a bit here, just because I feel like I should put some points into Strength. Uh, so I could use some better weapons, and so I can do a little bit more damage. And I'm only 15 in strength. Strength? So I guess I'll just push myself up to that, to 18. I usually don't add to strength at all, but it'll probably be worth it. And I've already upgraded my Estus Flask all the way. I think we're at a good point now to go ahead and try to fight... Um, I believe I'm human right now, too, right? I can't really tell. Yeah, no, I'm human. That's I, I believe I am. Uh, I oh, I also off camera I invaded somebody uh, in like by the blue cathedral. It was really fun. I wish I would have recorded it. I mean, it wasn't like exciting. I it was literally just me invading him and killing him. Um, and I was also trying to get summoned to fight the old dragon slayer. I apologize. I'm just spending so much time on this front screen. I, I'm sure you guys want me to get started on this episode, and I apologize that I'm kind of just doing so much. I haven't really played in a while either. Uh, it's been a couple days since I've played because I've been so busy with other things. Um, but I feel ready. Uh, they've done a couple fixes. I think they fixed the, some of the online stuff, uh, which is good because I know they were having some server issues. So let's go back to the Lost Bastille, and we'll go to the Tower Apart. Uh, I was watching somebody else fight uh, the three soldier guys. And I was watching, well, specifically I was watching Northern Lion, which I usually don't watch his stuff. Um, 
I mean, if I was going to watch anybody's Let's Play of Dark Souls 2, it probably would be his. I watched his... One of the first things I ever watched of his was this Dark Souls Let's Play, and it was really, really good. So if you want to watch someone better play through the game, I definitely recommend him, because I believe he played through it and then recorded his series, or at least played through a lot of it and was, like, playing as two characters for a while. Um, oh, shit, this isn't where I wanted to go. I mean, it's not that big a deal, but that's not where I wanted to go. Um... I want to go McDuff's Workshop, duh. McDuff. McDuff, man. Uh, so I, I was watching him fight this these three dudes and, or people, I don't know, things. And he summoned the Pilgrim. But when I summoned the Pilgrim, it kept, he or she, I, I thought it was a she, kept getting killed, like, immediately. But for him, it was really helpful because he was just kind of spinning circles, like, keeping the two dudes off of the Pilgrim and the Pilgrim was just launching magic. So I guess I'll try that strategy. I have a bunch of human effigies, so I can kind of um, risk dying a few times. But I'm only going to summon the... Uh, that's all I'm going to summon. I'm not going to summon anything else. Um, but we're definitely human because I see a bunch of summon signs everywhere. Oh shit, that's going to blow up, isn't it? Fuck! <laughs> blow up that for me. Blow up that for me. Blow that up for me. Oh no! No! Okay, I broke it. Good. I don't know why his weapon specifically breaks the barrels, but it does. And I can't tell if we're doing more damage or not, just from our strength upgrade. But we already took a little bit of damage. That really sucks. I'm going to go rest at the bonfire again, because I want to get there with full health. And I know I can just run there, but since I need to summon the pilgrim, um, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to have a bunch of shit chasing me. I might do that anyway, because I don't know why I'm being... I really shouldn't worry about damage too much. I'm going to take damage no matter what I do. But it was just the fact that I already took damage made me not really want to... I didn't want to go on. It is very strange. I think I talked about this a bit. See, that last episode... I apologize if you guys watched the last episode. It was kind of a mess uh, with the editing that I did. It wasn't necessarily the editing. It was just... I, re I didn't realize I recorded for three hours, like three and a half hours... And I went to so many different areas. So I, I know it was probably a little bit more difficult to follow that episode specifically. Uh, I hope you still kind of enjoyed it or still were able to follow what I was doing. So I, I'm kind of not sure what I said or what I did in that episode. Can I close this door and they won't follow me? Oh, nope. They just, yep. Oh, damn it. That was a really dumb idea because the other one just came right behind me. I'm going to just pull him out here. I could probably close this door, but that won't do me much good. It's really hard to tell who's attacking what, like who I'll be able to hit from there. Ah, it's kind of funny to fight all these guys at once, just like shooting fish in a barrel. No, I just don't want to die. I mean, as long as I kill all these guys, I'll just S this up. Oh no! Wow, that is a terrible start. I can't believe I got killed by these guys. I really should have just been backstabbing them. I don't know why I wasn't. Or just swinging them with a heavy attack. Terrible start. I apologize. I, I feel bad that, like, I started this episode just going on about dumb stuff. And now I died. <laughs> but, I mean, I haven't played for a couple days, so... It's probably important that I do fight some of these dudes before I just go running in, guns blazing. I'm going to use my human effigy, unfortunately. But I, I do want to be able to summon the Pilgrim. And we have a lot of human effigies, and hopefully soon... Oh, shit. Are there enemies in there? Okay. I mean, there might have been enemies in there, but it looks like they're not coming after me. Look, that's so weird that enemies disappear after a while. Like, I don't mind it, because it makes it easier, but, like, look, there's nothing here now. That's crazy. I mean, I, to be fair, I died a lot to that boss. Um, but I'm still pretty surprised that they all disappeared so quick. Do I have my uh, stamina shield? I feel like my stamina is not going up very fast. Maybe that's just because of the, all the armor I'm wearing. But I'm going to want to be able to take a lot of damage in this fight this time. Not this fight between these guys. but All right, I'm just going to run past. I mean, even if I just have to fight one or two of these guys, I don't really mind. No, actually, I could probably just run past him. But I do want to summon the Pilgrim, which this could be rough fighting the guys up here if they are right here. 
Yep, there they are. Shit. Fuck. Oh, and the pilgrim's not this way. I'm an idiot. At least doing this this way, like, separates these guys a bit more. Because I always have trouble fighting a bunch of dudes all in the same place. How do you not get st staggered? Punk? There we go. I don't really, you know, I like the sword, and I've put a lot of common fruit. I've put a lot of time into it, but I don't know if I really want to keep using it. Just because I don't think I like the way it slashes. I don't think it's very effective. Not like using a fire attack on a fire Pokemon, but... Like, I just don't like the way it, it works in this game. I'm going to backstab this guy. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, God, they're... Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Okay. That was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. I forgot there were so many in here. Whatever. I'm not... It's going to be difficult to use a lot of Estus in this fight anyway. So where is the Pilgrim at? No. Isn't the Pilgrim in here? Yeah. Wait, does... Do they have different armor this time? I don't know why I thought it was a girl. Let me see. Let me get a look at you. Belt. Maybe it was because of the Claire. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a girl. Or a guy with long hair. I don't know. I really can't tell. I'm going to assume that it is a girl. Because I'm an equal opportunity... What? What are you shooting at? What are you doing? Are, wait, was she trying to shoot at the boss, like, through this? She's crazy, man. Or he. I'm not really sure, but I think it's a she. I don't want to assume it's a she just because it's got long hair, though. It's, you know, kind of ignorant. Oh, wow, we're still doing a good amount of damage. Probably because I leveled up strength so much. Oh, wow, okay, and so is Belclair. Good. Maybe you'll actually be useful this time. Because last time I summoned you, you just got your ass kicked. But then again, I didn't really know how to do this fight then. Oh, how did I get hit? Son of a bitch. Well, I'm not going to heal you yet. Get up here. Please. Please get up here. Get up here, please. There you go. There you go. Hey, 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 hey. Why you got... What the hell, bro? Come on, man. All right, so we'll do... We'll go down. Oh shit! I just don't want her to get him or her to get killed. There we go. Okay, here's the other one. All right, let's just take this one out as quick as possible. Whoa! That was a crazy attack. Shit! I just gotta keep him away from the pilgrim. I'm worried that he's one of these guys is gonna blindside me though. Oh shit! They're fucking separating. No! Ah, oh, shit. That's what I was afraid of, too. No! Oh, fuck. Damn, that attack is crazy. Oh, no. Alright, keep shooting, Tex. Fuck! I gotta use a life gem here. Oh man, that attack is so good. Alright, I think we got it this time. It's kind of sad how long this fight took me to even get close. All right, one of these guys is almost dead, and it's this one. So I really just want to finish him off as quick as I can. Yeah! Good one, Pilgrim. Alright, I think we got this now. I could definitely fight one of these guys at a time, especially with... My, my bro, Pilgrim Belclair, doing damage. Yeah! Thank you, Pilgrim Belclair. You're so good to me. So you've been so good to me. Whoa. Just fucking disappeared. All right, so that definitely wasn't as bad that time. Hurrah for friend. Wait, what was that? Weakness. <laughs> well, no shit. Okay, so I feel kind of dumb that that took me so long. But we all I leveled up a lot, so... Uh, I guess now we just go this way. I'm not really sure what we're going to come across, but I'm excited to find out. And by excited, I kind of mean terrified. I feel like the frame rate has been a bit fixed. Um, the game felt a little framey for me, uh, but it feels pretty great. Now, oh, here's how we get to over here. So I don't, in the last episode, I was obsessed that there was some way to get over here. 
And there is. It's just the end of the fight, so. Wait, can I get through these doors? No. Wait, can I? Oh, God! What was that? What was that? Something just straight blew up. I'm kind of scared now. Is this a bonfire? Yeah! There are so many bonfires, like, within proximity of each other in this game. Alright, so I'm gonna go level up, uh, because I don't want to lose these souls. So we're gonna go to Majula. Majula Oblongada. I've already made that joke so many times. And I also need to try and make the trip up to, um, I'll do this off camera, but I didn't realize, um... There, you know, oh wait, you know what? It wasn't Crazy Mike who I was talking to about this game. It was a coworker. I only have one coworker. I only have one person I know in real life that actually plays Dark Souls 2. And I finally, it's someone I work with at GameStop. And him and I finally worked together. So we were talking shop. And we were like around, right about the same place as each other. So we were talking a lot about Dark Souls 2. But, you know, Crazy Mike has helped me out plenty of times. So, so. I'm gonna go ahead and increase my vigor a little bit. I'm gonna increase my endurance a little bit. I'm gonna increase my strength a lot bit. I'm gonna increase my vitality a little bit. I'm gonna increase my dexterity a little bit. And that should be good. Sweet. Might still, okay. And we will travel. And we will travel. I'm gonna try really hard to not make this a really long episode, so. Servants' quarters. Cool. I'm surprised that they they probably pay their servants' quarters. That's probably what that means. <laughs> Hopefully, I can find another weapon that I'll be able to start upgrading. I mean, I did get that spear, the hide spear, but I don't think I have the ability to use it, and I wouldn't imagine that it's that much better than the sword. I always have such a hard time knowing which weapons to use, and may you know I might not be able to start working on another weapon until after we get. Um, McDuff's uh, Ember to start making weapons. Oh, but what I think I need to do soon, too... Can I even use this? I don't think I can use this shield, can I? I don't believe I can. Probably requires a lot more strength. Yeah, it requires 30 strength. Forget that! Um, where was that? The spear. Didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right here. Uh, 25 dexterity. Oh, I'm close. But so, what am I using right now? Hide sword? That's a pretty good dexterity weapon. Do I have a... Oh, the dagger's a... I guess that makes sense that the dagger would be a really good dexterity weapon. But I'm not going to use a dagger. And the bow is a good dexterity weapon. Right? Isn't the hand dexterity? I'm almost positive it is. Okay. Well, I'm going to stick with what I have for now. Um, I'm just kind of trying to get an idea of what I should do later. Oh, yeah. I wanted to see what was in here. What the fuck are you, dude? Why do you keep blowing up? Is that one of those zombies that when they fall over, they kind of just explode a little bit? But, like, they explode into a gas thing, so maybe there's, like, a, a barrel in there. Okay, I'm not going to summon. I'm not going to be a big baby. And I probably should have read that message on the floor, but once again, I'm not going to be a big baby. All right, so this is a little spooky. Whoa, hey, doggy. I feel like, I, I think I've said this, but, like, they I feel like they made, oh, Pharaoh's Keystone, yes! Or Lockstone, I've been calling them Keystone. Hopefully we get another one of these later. They look like Cybermen face from uh, Doctor Who. Shit, Belfry Luna or Belfry Luna? Whoa, this is kind of cool. What's the summon sign? Okay, Skillful Spider. That person's probably really good at Dark Souls too. Should I be going this way? I feel like I. Oh fuck, who's this guy? Oh, I almost killed him. Oh, this is uh, what's his name? Hey, buddy. Oh wait, no. This is who the hell is this guy? Huh. Wait, but there's a fog. Where did that fog wall come from? Oh, shit. I knew it. Shit. I was going to say, why is there a fog wall? Now I'm terrified. Oh, man. I've never been here before. I'm just going to hang out over here. That was kind of creepy that this guy was threatening me, and then all of a sudden... I get invaded. I don't want to, like, go anywhere because I don't know what this area is like. Like, what if he just comes from over here? Okay, I don't... Well, he could. I just don't want to, like... Oh, God. What? Why am I being invaded by two people? That hardly seems fair. I can barely... 
Fight one. Oh, good. He took a bunch of fall damage. Wait, he only took nine fall damage from that? That doesn't seem right. Oh, wait. It is one of these little dudes. So what the hell? Okay, so that's not a normal invasion. That's an NPC invasion? I'm confused. Nope, that's an actual dude. Feisty Taco. I don't think that's a game in-game character. Oh, fuck. He's using magic. <gasps> what the fuck? What the shit? Okay, how did I not hit him? Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright, well, I didn't really stand much of a chance there, so... <sighs> Am I gonna get, like, invaded a bunch here or something? That's the first time I've ever been invaded in the game. I mean, I invaded someone else. <laughs> he just killed himself. Well, that blows. I don't want to be invaded. Took a really long time to get off that screen, though. So there you go, invasions in Dark Souls 2. They're still as unpleasant as they are in Dark Souls. I mean, I probably could have won, but I got hit like by them both a bunch, like right away. I don't know. Also, he was using magic, so I didn't really wanna give him a chance. Well, I'm okay, I mean, I, I'm all right, right with the health I have at the moment. Um, so is there any- oh no, I have- oh god, I forgot the dog. <laughs> I wonder if that's a Pharaoh's Lockstone, because it seems like you need one to progress. Nope, large club? I definitely can't use that. The large club is my favorite club. Belfry Luna. Is this like the name of the castle? Isn't it Belfry or Belfry? Is it Belfry? I think it's Belfry. Also, I wanted to get a better look at this guy, and I feel like I should be equipping my binoculars anyway. I like that binoculars are a, uh, wait, aren't they? Wait, where's my crossbow at? Oh, duh, I put that on my shield spot. I'm an idiot. Uh, uh, I can't really get a good look at him. Is he a skeleton? No, he's got an actual face. So they're trying to guard this bell here. I wonder if this, like, causes automatic invasions every time you talk to him. Abandon your covenant and join the... Yeah! Dude, the, okay, the Bellkeeper Covenant is badass. Crazy Mike was telling me about it. Yeah! Fuck that other covenant. So... Yeah! That's so cool! That's cool. So, I guess this only works here, though, but you basically invade people. That's why I had to fight those other guys. Does that mean I don't have to get, that I won't get invaded by the bell people? So, it seems like anytime someone comes here, hey, buddy. Hey, we're supposed to be on a team now. Oh, fuck. Hey, that's where that other guy fell from, I guess. Wait. Where am I? Where am I right now? That was weird. Oh, I'm in this room. I get it. I, I can see this room from far away. Definitely not a mimic. But yeah, we could probably get some sweet invasions here if we just hang out. Blue tear stone ring. Do I have to have that seal equipped though, probably to use it? Or to be summoned? It was a seal. Ring for the Bellkeeper Covenant. Current durability. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted info. Join the Covenant and wear this ring to be automatically summoned to the world of an invader of the Bell Keeper's domain. The twin bells symbolize the bond between two lovers who would uh, could never be united. The Bell Keepers are their eternal guardians, for that is their love. That is their curse. Hmm. Um, so, I mean, I don't really want to unequip any of my current rings, to be honest. Um, oops. Definitely not that one. I mean, I, I wonder if the life ring is really helping that much, though. Like, am I really getting that much out of it? I don't think I am. Trespasser set foot in the bell tower, invading as a gray spirit. So maybe I should just do this the rest of this. Since I already fought the boss, maybe I should just do some invasions for a while. I don't know. Would that bother you guys? I feel like that would be kind of annoying. But I also feel like it's going to be kind of annoying if I just keep invading over and over again. This is a really cool covenant, though. And the best part is, like, the people who probably aren't good at this game or don't, well... 
or just don't care, aren't going to read through all the dialogue. So, Or maybe they just won't enjoy the Covenant, or maybe they won't like put on the ring. I feel like you could hang out here and like invade people forever. All right. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, I could have totally backstabbed him. Just got to recover a bit. Oh, damn it. I like the look of the gray demon, too. Or the gray summons. The gray phantom? Yeah. Yeah, I got a life gem. Oh, you son of a bitch. Damn it. <laughs> I don't want to backstab him, but I definitely want to scare him into thinking I'm going to backstab him. Oh, there you go. All right. And now when he gets up, I'll just kind of go to hell on him. Oh, shit. Yeah! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> I'll just be an asshole, I guess. Killer Canadian. I get a Titanite chunk for that? Not such a killer Canadian now, are you? Well, that was fun. I really love invasions, so do I get a Titanite chunk every time I kill someone? That'd be fucking awesome. I get a lot of Titanite chunks. I mean, it would take some time, but... I mean, it'd be a fun way to get them. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna just hang out here. I mean, I would like to just do invasions for an hour, but I would also like to make some actual game progress. So I'll take off this ring for now, but uh, maybe I'll do like an extra episode or, I mean, I'm probably gonna stream the game once it comes out on PC. All right, so I'm gonna take that ring off because with how many people that are, ah, shit, no, take off the ring. Damn it. All right, well, I guess I'm going to do one more. I feel like you would probably get a lot of invasions. And, like I said, I mean, it's, it's cool. You get Titanite chunks, man. Like, that is something that you're going to want to need. Also, the Full Moon Sickle looks really cool. Target shield. I, I like and I don't like these, um, like, these uh, loading screen, um, I guess they're, like, tips. They're not really tips, though. They're just, they show you different weapons. Um, invaded the world of Lagmire. That's a cool name. Where's he at, though? There! Oh, no! Oh, shit. I can't believe I just did that. Damn it. <laughs> Where'd he go? There he is. Okay. He's trying to get me up here, which makes me nervous. Come on. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing, though. Ooh, quick attacks. I was actually trying to push him down the hole, but... Looks like a lot of people are using that fire sword. Ah, damn it. Fuck. What? What's he doing? Is he trying to like... Yeah, backstab. Oh, you're fishing for backstabs. Well, yeah, I want to win. Yeah. All right, I took the ring off, right? So no more invasions, <laughs> please. Well, we'll see if I get another Titanite chunk. Oh, wait, shit. I'm assuming that's what that was. But that's fun. Like, I love that. Do you get... I know I should probably know this, but I don't remember if you get souls for killing... I know you get souls if you kill an invader. I don't know if you get souls if you kill... If you're the invader. I don't see why you wouldn't. Good way to grind for souls, though, if that is the case. And a good way to grind for Titanite chunks. Obviously, that... But the th that's the thing, too, is this covenant is probably useless beyond that, but I could always just join another covenant. Because I don't know if there's, like, a penalty for joining other covenants, like, leaving, or I should say, leaving covenants and joining other covenants. Wait, I, I took off the ring, right? I mean, I know I took it off, but it saved that I took it off, right? Yeah. Stone ring. Sorry. Oh, fuck. Hey, buddy. I don't know what's up with these random small dudes here. A lot of health, though. 
rusted coin. Destroy butthole. Jesus. Uh, Skeptite spice. Skepti spice. I don't know. I can't read for shit. All right, I won't. I won't make this. Oh God! I'm being invaded again. Hey, buddy. I don't want to fight these little dudes though. So I guess I can be invaded if I'm not wearing the ring. This is a cool area though. I, I like the idea of this area being built. Hey, this guy's using my sword. Smart guy. Oh, I just want to kill this little dude. Oh, what the fuck? How'd he hit me? Shit! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God, I totally opened myself up for, like, a downward swipe. But luckily he didn't see that. <laughs> but I got away, and that's important. That would have been pretty sweet, though, if he would have downward slash. Oh! Oh, Jesus. Oh, no! I like that we're using the same sword, though. I'm, I'm cool with that. But he's two-handing it, too, so... He's being very offensive. Shit. No! Oh, my God. I'm just gonna, am I just gonna get invaded all day? Hit him again! Yes! All right, invader banished! <laughs> I'm not human either, so... Alright, I killed one of you! Who else wants some? Where's he at? God damn. I feel like this area is gonna be... Whoa! He's just straight two-handed that weapon. Ah, oh, man, he's in a fire sword too. Shit! No... I think I can do this. This guy looks like he's got a lot of health, though. Or a lot of defense. Alright. Can he heal? I don't know if they can heal. I'm gonna use all my Estus. Shit. Whoa! He's using a halberd now. That's fine with me. That's much easier to deal with. Yeah! Another invader banished. Alright. Shit, man. I just feel like I'm going to get tons of invasions. Which makes me think I should just run out of here as fast as I can. <sighs> but I also don't want a bunch of these dudes coming after me. Oh god. I thought I killed that other one. That's why they stopped making me target it. No! <laughs> Can I backstab these little guys? I'm mean, gonna be a little silly. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm out of Estus. And I'm not being invaded anymore. At least for now. How did that hurt me? I mean, I guess because my shield isn't 100% physical damage. Which is a real shame. Because it'd be really helpful if it was. Wait, was that an item? No, it's blood stain. Also, not a mimic? Okay. I can't believe how many chests I destroyed. Like, how many items I broke. I feel so stupid about that. But I got life gems. That's probably why I was always so low on life gems. Oh, is this gonna ring the bell? And then I'm gonna get invaded by like eight people. Woo! Now what? I mean, I rung the bell. What else do I do? Hmm. What's happening right now? I am not really sure. Hmm. But if I get killed, I mean, I guess that's it, right? I don't know what else I would do. Yeah, fuck your bell.
I didn't just undo whatever I did, right? Shit. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, here's a fog wall over here. Does that mean I'm being invaded? Good luck, and then hurrah for victory. What? I'm gonna use one of these life gems. I'm very curious as to what's beyond this wall. Oh shit, another boss? Whoa, wait a minute. Dude, this looks just like uh, the Bell Gargoyle place that we fight the other, well, no shit, the other Bell Gargoyles, but this looks like the fucking area in the first game. That's so crazy. Also, I'm fighting two of these guys now. What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Oh, they all have their own life bars above them. That's good. Oh, oh god, they can breathe fire! And oh my god, there's another one! How many of these things do I have to fight? Let me guess, I have to fight all of them. That would really suck. But I'm kind of thinking that might be the case. Huh. I just want to kill this one. Kill him! Ah, shit. Solaire, where are you? Oh my god. Well, this is crazy, though. This looks just like the Battle Gargoyles. Is that Anne Orlando? I always forget what the levels are called. Not Anne Orlando. Anne Orlando. It's definitely not Anne Orlando. That's the castle area where you meet Gwenadin. Gwenavir. Gwendolyn. <laughs> Shit, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. At least the fight is, like, super close, though. Uh, I might end this episode, though, if this doesn't go well for me. I mean, clearly the key to doing this fight is to kill them as fast as possible. And I was out of Estus, and I think having Estus will definitely help. But I don't want to be summoned a bunch either. I just want to get through this fight. And I hate... I kind of wish I wasn't using the Leather Shield still, because it doesn't block 100% physical damage. I just need to boost my strength up a lot. Oh fuck, I almost fell. So if I get it, oh no, you know what? If I make it to the boss, then I don't have to fight uh, phantoms. Yeah, so I should definitely just try to run to the boss fight if I can. I wonder if there's any summons that would be particularly helpful for this fight though. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Can't believe I got hit there. I mean, I can totally believe I got hit there, but it's, it still sucks. I just gotta focus on killing- Oh my god, they the fucking show up so fast. Oh my god. I really wish I knew magic, that I was using a magic character, because that would make this way easier. Oh no! need to kill one of them. Well, I need to kill fucking five or six of them. Oh my god. It's just because I'm not doing a lot of damage. I don't even know what else I can do at this point. A leather whip. Not normally used on the battlefield because it's used in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Um... I'm wondering if I should use more boss souls. And I'm also wondering if there's anything else I can do at this point, but I don't think there is. I'll try it one more time, and then I will probably end the episode if I can't kill him. And I'll brainstorm. Hey, I didn't get this chest. Oh, fuck! I keep forgetting there's dogs here! Damn it. Probably not even anything good in here. Oh, priest chime. That's probably good. I don't know. What the fuck do I know? I don't even play this game. All right, so if I don't succeed here, I will probably just grind up as an invader. And then I will increase, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'm not sure what I'll do. But I'll hang out here, try to level up by fighting spirits or becoming one. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> probably. All right, I should definitely kill this guy, though. Because he did a lot of damage before I went into that fight. Oh, God, firebombs! What an asshole. Well, now I gotta kill this one too. What the fuck? Oh, 
I want to know what's up with these little imp dudes. Oh! Good! I didn't want those souls anyway. I don't know why I didn't just run away from them. There was no reason for me to fight them. I don't even know how many souls I had. What was anything I got from invading? That sucks. Hmm. All right, well, I'm probably going to end this episode then because I'm having so much trouble. And you know what? I should switch this... Um... I should put on that ring that I got that allows me to not lose so much health because that's going to be very helpful to have at this point when I'm fighting this boss. I mean, I'll switch it back probably when I'm not just losing over and over again to a boss, but I think at the time being, the Ring of Binding would be very useful. Uh, so let, you know what, I'm, yeah, I will go try and fight him one more time. And then if that just goes, like, really shitty, then I will just uh, probably do a bit of grinding. By grinding, I just mean invading. Maybe be able to increase some of my weapon stats and make myself dinner because I haven't eaten yet. But that's, you know, breaking the fourth wall, and you don't you didn't ask for that. So if I'm in the same covenant, does that mean that I'll be invaded more often or maybe less often? Because I know that... The covenant you're in affects your, you know, how often you're invaded and stuff like that. Maybe I should just stagger him and then go through the... Nope, that didn't help. He's going to hit me again too, isn't he? Nope, he didn't hit me again. Essis! Fight! Oh, Jesus, I'm like aiming at him. Ah, Jesus! I just feel like having another, like, a summon would make this so much easier. What's up with this area and multiple fucking bosses at once? I fucking hate it. It's so stressful. Oh my god. And these guys just never stop attacking. It's like they don't even have actual stamina bars. Okay, got him. Heal up. Shit, there's another one, isn't there? I see him right there. Fuck! <laughs> oh god. Can there, and it, can there be more than two at a time? I'm sure there can be. I mean, I'd be like, why would they make that easy? Ugh. Yeah, magic would be super helpful in this fight. Most definitely. Because the problem with this fight isn't even that they're tough. It's just that there's two of them at a time. I'm still just trying to figure out what kind of attacks they do, too. So that's one... They just mostly do one swing, except for that one. That's just one poke, and then they swing again. Ah, oh, Jesus! They're like... If they were on the same attack pattern, that'd be fine. So they both do these dumb flying attacks. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> do I have... That's just... Yeah. I'm gonna use this. Nope! Ah, oh, Jesus. I rolled right into it. Ah, oh, jeez. I was trying to heal. I'm gonna get killed. No? Not dead yet? Okay. Oh! Yeah, fuck you. I'm over here now. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm just gonna run from side to side. That'll work, right? It'll weed them away from each other, for a little bit at least. Alright, well since there's only two at a time, I definitely think I can do this fight. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, I, I know I can do it eventually, but it's definitely going to take me a while. I did not try to parry just now. I mean, I did. Fuck. All right, yeah. Uh, you know what? I will do this boss fight in this episode. I'm just going to... Oh, shit. The other one came. Maybe I can't do this. I don't think I have a weapon I can use any better. I just need a weapon that does a lot of damage really quick. I wonder if these guys are weak against... Well, electricity. That's what I'm using. Because in the other game, in Dark Souls... The Bell Gargoyles are weak against electricity. Or at least they... Or maybe no. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong enemy. Maybe I'm thinking of the uh, that dude on the bridge. Can I use this? This does a lot of damage. 
I mean, it doesn't do more, though. Oh, wait, I don't have the strength. Oh, no, yeah, I do. Wait, does this do more damage? How is that even... Maybe I should be using that. This doesn't even seem like it's that good. Maybe I should try using something different. Maybe I should, like, level up this mace. It attacks a lot faster, too. Um, I don't know. I Because I don't feel like the fact that the other weapon was electric is really helpful enough. Let's just see how much damage this does against the dog. I mean, I want to keep using that sword, because I really like that sword, but if it's not doing much damage, I shouldn't keep pouring Titanite chunks into it, or... Nah, I guess I'm doing it. I mean, it's doing about the same amount of damage. Yeah, I'm gonna go upgrade this, because I, I can at least pl make it up to plus two, can't I? Oh, wait, no, I can't, because I don't have enough souls. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode for now. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Repainted Gamer. Like this video, favorite this video, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do forget to share love. Uh, in the next episode, we'll try to beat those Belfry Gorgo Gorgoyles. In fact, I will probably just be actively attempting it, and then when I inevitably get it, I will, um, kind of just cut in me talking over it. You know what I'm saying. Uh, but guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you guys for the next one. See you then.